Hazel eyes are rare on a global scale. Only about 5% of people worldwide have them. Yet in Germany, they're surprisingly common. Why is that? What makes Germany such a hotspot for this mysterious and color-shifting eye color? Before we start, I'm on a road to get 1,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. Um, in this video, we're diving into the genetic roots of hazel eyes in Germany. From ancient hunter-gatherers to massive Bronze Age migrations, we'll trace how different populations came together to create the perfect recipe for hazel eyes. It's not just about one gene, it's about a blend of biology, ancestry and history that goes back thousands of years. If you or someone in your family has hazel eyes, you might be carrying a visual trace of Germany's ancient past. Let me know in the comments where your eyes and your roots come from. Hazel eyes are hard to pin down. Sometimes they look green, sometimes golden, sometimes even brown. But what really makes hazel eyes stand out is their unpredictability. They seem to change with the light, the weather, or even your mood. So what's going on beneath the surface? Hazel eyes result from a unique balance of melanin in the iris, the colored part of your eye. There's usually a concentration of brown or amber pigment near the pupil and a lighter ring of green or grey toward the edges. This uneven distribution reflects and scatters light in different ways, creating that colour-shifting effect. The process behind this isn't controlled by a single gene. Hazel eyes are polygenic, meaning they're influenced by multiple genes working together. OCA2 and HERC2 help control how much melanin is produced. Meanwhile, genes like TERP1, SLC24A4 and IRF4 shape how that melanin is processed and where it ends up in the iris because of this complex interaction. Hazel eyes are more genetically unpredictable than blue or brown. That's why even within the same family, one person might have pure brown eyes, another bright blue, and someone else, hazel. It's a genetic blend, and that's what makes them so fascinating. Hazel eyes didn't exist in the earliest humans. Our ancestors who evolved in Africa had uniformly brown eyes, rich in melanin to protect against harsh UV rays. It wasn't until humans migrated into Europe that lighter eye colors, including blue, green, and eventually hazel, began to appear. One of the earliest shifts happened in hunter-gatherer populations of Mesolithic Europe around 10,000 years ago. These people often had dark skin and surprisingly blue eyes, a genetic combination caused by early mutations in the HERC2 and OCA2 genes. Meanwhile, Neolithic farmers from Anatolia and the Middle East brought darker eyes and lighter skin when they arrived in Europe around 8,000 years ago. When these two populations met and interbred, they passed down a wide range of pigmentation genes. The result? Intermediate eye colors began to emerge, including hazel. Hazel wasn't a standalone mutation. It was a product of blending where melanin levels in the iris sat between blue and brown. Hazel eyes likely became more common in transitional zones, regions where neither brown nor blue was dominant and where genetic diversity was highest. Central Europe, including what is now Germany, became one of these zones. And from there, the story of hazel eyes continued to evolve, carried by every migration and settlement that followed. To understand hazel eyes in Germany, you have to understand Germany's deep genetic past. This region in the heart of Europe was never isolated. It's been a crossroads of human movement for thousands of years, and each population that passed through left a layer in the DNA we see today. The story begins with Western hunter-gatherers who lived in Central Europe after the Ice Age. Their DNA shows a surprising combination, darker skin with blue eyes. Then came the Neolithic Revolution. Around 7,500 years ago, early farmers from the Fertile Crescent migrated into Europe, bringing agriculture and brown-eyed genes with them. These farmers mixed with the local hunter-gatherers and in doing so expanded the variety of traits, including eye colors. But the biggest transformation came during the Bronze Age. Around 5,000 years ago, steppe tribes known as the Yamnaya began migrating westward into Europe. They brought Indo-European languages, a new male-dominated lineage, R1b, and a fresh genetic signature that included lighter pigmentation genes for skin, hair, and eyes. The fusion of all three groups, hunter-gatherers, farmers, and steppe nomads, created the diverse genetic base of modern Germans. Later, tribal groups like the Celts and early Germanic peoples spread across Central Europe. Then came the Romans, who settled in southern parts of Germany and brought even more genetic variation from southern Europe and the Mediterranean. 
Modern Germans today carry ancestry from all these ancient groups. The result? A population with a wide variety of features, blonde and dark hair, light and olive skin, blue, green, brown, and yes, hazel eyes. The hazel-eyed Germans of today are living proof of this complex genetic layering, a trait passed down through thousands of years of migration, mixing, and adaptation. Hazel eyes didn't just arrive in Germany, they developed there, shaped by waves of migration and the perfect genetic mix. Germany's position in the centre of Europe meant it absorbed genes from nearly every major prehistoric and historic population. And that balance between blue and brown eye genes created the right conditions for hazel eyes to emerge and thrive. During the Bronze Age, as steppe ancestry spread into Central Europe, eye colour diversity increased dramatically. The newcomers brought more blue-eyed traits, while the existing Neolithic farming communities already carried brown-eyed genes. When these groups interbred, their descendants inherited a broad range of pigmentation genes, setting the stage for intermediate eye colours like hazel. By the Iron Age, Central Europe had become home to Celtic and early Germanic tribes, each with their own blend of ancestries. These groups settled, migrated, and mixed again, especially in areas that would become modern-day Germany. The result was an incredibly varied gene pool with no single dominant eye colour. Hazel eyes may have been especially common in regions where no one ancestry dominated, places where hunter-gatherer, farmer, and steppe DNA all overlapped. These were the genetic middle zones, and Germany had many of them. Over generations, the trait persisted, not because it was dominant, but because it kept reappearing wherever genetic diversity was high. Hazel eyes weren't a mutation, they were the natural outcome of continuous blending, and in Germany that blending never really stopped. So why do hazel eyes continue to show up in Germany? Generation after generation, it's not just ancient history, it's about the environment, society, and the way rare traits can quietly flourish. First, Germany's climate plays a role. It's neither blazing like North Africa, nor dim like northern Scandinavia. In this temperate middle zone, extreme levels of melanin aren't strictly necessary. That means intermediate traits like hazel eyes aren't weeded out by environmental pressure. They can stick around, thrive, and even become more common. Second, hazel eyes often benefit from sexual selection. Simply put, they're rare and striking. In small or regional populations, traits that stand out, even slightly, can become more desirable. If enough people find hazel eyes attractive, that preference gets passed along through generations. Third, Germany has remained a highly mixed population. Even in modern times, it's a cultural and genetic crossroads, with ongoing migration from across Europe and beyond. This continuous influx of diverse genetic material keeps hazel eye genes circulating and recombining. Unlike Blue or brown eyes, hazel doesn't dominate, but it persists. It's quietly passed down in families, sometimes skipping generations, sometimes appearing out of nowhere. In Germany, it survives because it sits right in the center, biologically, geographically, and genetically. Before we wrap up, if you've enjoyed this deep dive into German DNA and hazel eyes, please like the video and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Hazel eyes aren't just beautiful, they're a reflection of thousands of years of ancestry, blending and migration. In Germany, they carry the legacy of hunter-gatherers, early farmers, Indo-European steppe tribes, and every population that followed. If you or someone in your family has hazel eyes, you're not just rare, you're living proof of a deep and complex past. Let me know in the comments where your roots come from, I'd love to hear your story.